What is up guys, Killer Kevin, and today we're going to be playing a little bit of RimWorld. Yes, RimWorld is kind of a, a game that isn't out to say on Steam or any other platform. It is actually a standalone Kickstarter game. Uh, I thought I'd actually look at this because uh, there's a streamer that I like to watch that is actually currently playing this game, so I thought I'd give it a try. Um, it's kind of hard to explain what it is, but uh, I'm just going to show you and see how far we get. In no way, shape or means do I know a lot about this game. I know the very basics. So, um, we're going to see how it goes. So obviously, you need to create a new world. And obviously, as you can see here, create a new world, the random seeds. You can just spam this out any time you want. This is the size of it. Obviously, the bottom scale being the largest, and the, obviously, the one up top being the smallest. So, I'm just going to leave it a stand of that. I'm going to click a couple of times, randomize, generate, and see what we get. As you can see, this is the map here. And obviously, if we come and look in somewhere around down here. Uh, you can use arrow keys to move around your mouse, your mouse, your mouse wheel, your mouse wheel to scroll in and out. And then, of course, you can uh, click to see where it is. Now, what we're actually looking over here is actually the stats. So, as you can see here, the biome is a tropical forest. Uh, the terrain is large hills, which is good because obviously we can dig into hills, which is really quite nice. And obviously, the stone types—it doesn't really matter about this. Marble is kind of a shit because if you bump to a marble wall as you're going into a mountain, that marble wall will not be able to go through so it's kind of annoying to navigate around that but sandstone and slate is good to build sort of walls and doors and various other things and obviously the main thing that we're looking for is the growing period is year round also as well let us explain that the graphics on this game do not look spectacular as they stand but in game when we get started they are pretty damn good and it's quite an addictive game as well so we'll talk about that more later so basically i'm going to look around here it looks pretty nice uh year round down here as well which uh to be honest is a really nice area to go in i can build all the way around in here uh terrain is just mountains not large mountains that's flat over there, supply drops, uh, cubby hole in here so we won't get attacked so much. Maybe this side but very much down and obviously we can explore the rest of this. So I wouldn't particularly like to build something here. I'm very zoned off and very sort of in my own sort of thing. Um, it could be an idea but as it stands for this walkthrough I'm not going to do that. So as it doesn't really matter at the moment, all you need to do is to save that world. And uh, as that world's created now you need to do a colony. Now, I've been told to go on this one in particular, the base builder, and go on casual, not building mode, but casual, which is just like a normal game mode. 30% uh, as large as in challenging mode. So it's not too bad, it's pretty casual, it's pretty easy, but I'm just going to go on this one because it just seems overall, generally, as you can see, it gives you a little run down here, it just seems generally a better one. This is obviously the hardest one here, this is mainly for uh, Randy Random, which could happen at any time, anything, so a raid. Uh, sort of blowing up or anything else but a uh, classic is sort of like little raids here and there and everything else but personally I am probably gonna go for the base builder here I was gonna go this one but I've changed my mind I'm gonna go base builder and go casual and go next and obviously you can see your worlds are here these are a couple of old worlds as well some new some old but uh, I'm gonna go on to the one that we just created which is this one up top here and select that one and then when you get here obviously you can choose your drop site or drop zone so for us, we're going to go to where we said we were going to go, which is down somewhere around here. I'm going to probably go there, and as you can see, if you go slightly up further, but there's um, obviously year-round granite, slate, and marble. Marble being the less one because it's at the end, and larger hills, so then we can build essentially more towards the left. So we're going to see how that one goes, and we're going to select the site. Then when you've done that, you get to select three characters, and obviously throughout the game you can obtain different people if they like or don't like your base, then you can kill them, but uh, hopefully we're going to get some other ones. So as you can see here, <coughs> excuse me, there's quite a few other things here as well, so backstory, and sort of the work ethics and everything else so and you can see here the skills obviously the flame being more of a percentage of that particular skill so he's mining he's good at shooting construction is regular and crafting uh, he's not very artistic he doesn't know anything about medicine and his social skills are beyond shit all of these can be upgraded as well so we're going to have a little quick randomize Ooh. And all rounder, pretty good, but minor, not very good. So I'm literally going to cycle through till we get someone that's pretty much all rounder. Someone like this. 
Uh, very good at melee, which is not too bad. Which you, obviously, you get three weapons at the beginning a rifle, a pistol, and a knife. So, this guy will choose the knife. Uh, growing is a five, it's quite strong with a flame, so obviously, it gets that extra 1% more. Uh, construction is a five, it's pretty high. Research, not really that bothered at the moment about research, to be particularly honest. Nice of the character, but. So I'll go for a scientist there. A medieval slave. As you can see, look at these ones as well, look as always uh, Shows to like things squared away. Who work harder the most. Uh, getting better, not bad. Global work speed, high. Mental breakdown. He's a jogger. Hmm. <coughs> Don't really want to go to mental breakdown. Quicker than shit because it does happen quite quick in this game. So let's we'll suck through again. I'm just gonna look for this in particular. He's a pretty good all rounder as well, but mining is a one. So mm, not bad as a hunter, but we need an all rounder. Uh, okay, dull. Okay, it's mine. So okay. Times with others. He's an effective as circle. Uh, nope. Seems like a big fruitcake. Nervous. Has to crack under pressure. Uh, Melly, social, pretty much an all good rounder. I'm gonna leave him for the time being. Let's go on to someone else. Who else? We've got shooting, very good. Melly, very good. Social, extremely good. Uh, research, three, not too bad. Medicine and cooking. So this guy will probably be a doctor and our cook. Uh, he's pretty good at mining as well, and he can pretty much do everything else. So I'm gonna keep this guy as he is. Let's have a look here. Uh, shows mine, so crafting folk, extreme sensitive to, okay. Not very good ethics, if I'm honest. Gets a rush from people being hurt, okay. Mining, not too bad. Shooting, hmm. Pretty shy at shooting. This one's a very good shot, so this guy can change. Oh! Too smart. Okay, this has got a good one. Obviously he's going to be scared, but overall not too bad. Good cook, good medicine. Six is good because he's cooked the finest meals. This is probably the longest bit of the whole game. Shooting, not too bad. Mining and construction. So overall I want a very good shot and a grower. So shooter and a grower. So obviously a three, a one. Oh, uh, three, five as well on that one. Got a researcher shot three. Yeah, and look for a good grower. Shooting three, not bad. Hmm. Again, a pretty good overall. I'll go this guy. So once you've done all of this, you can actually rename them, but it's you know, entirely up to you how you want to do that. But uh, I think we're pretty good. So we got a researcher. Uh, everyone can mine by the looks of it. Yeah, everyone's a fucking great miner. Uh, shooting. Not too bad. It's a pistol, rifle, and obviously melee. Uh, medicine. So we got a doctor. There. It's also very good medicine there, so actually, let's switch this guy to something else. Grower 11, shit. Shooting 5, much better. Fast walker and depressive, not bad. She will bring everyone down. Let's have a quick look again. Oh, mining, shooting. Human body is limited for reasons to her. Bionic body parts are uh, okay. She can deal with that. Research, shit at. Mining, very good at. Shooting, not too bad. Melee, quite good. Overall, a good character. Growing, five again. Okay, I am pretty much happy with the characters that I have. So we could start here. Let the world generate, and then we'll jump in. Let's see how it goes. As you can see, yeah, the three are woken. Surrounded by silence. A ripping metal, bearing to escape the pods before the ship is torn apart. Some time later, you land in an unknown rim world. Ooh. And your shit has fallen around you. It's 
Start making plans to survive. Yes, sir. Right. So as you can see, we're dropping. One, two, three. Okay, all right. Let's have a look. So space bars to pause. And we can actually have a look around now. So see these things with uh, like little mountains, which we actually build into, which is going to be quite good. So I'm probably just going to start off in... Maybe. Um, what else have we got around here? Ooh, that would be a nice area to go in. We would have all of this as well, so... Not too bad. Let's, uh, I'm probably going to go here, though, to be totally honest. So, let's obviously bring everyone up. So, click on the character. So, uh, get a character. And let's bring up the overview. I always tick this off, everyone does this, tick it off and make your own sort of protocols and sort of set everyone up first on what they're doing. So let's have a look at this guy. So this is the miner, the beast miner. So he is down the bottom here, so we're going to choose miner and he's going to be his first thing. Uh, medicine, if there's nothing to do it's going to be a 2. And then after that let's put everything as a 4. Obviously if there's no sort of mining or medicine or doctoring to do then he can do everything else that we want him to do shooting he's quite a good shot so we're going to put that at three and the construction as well is going to be a two so if we can find construction it's going to be a two as well so his main thing is mining there's no mining construction after that doctoring if anyone needs it straight away not too bad, I'm going to click that too as well. So the next character by pressing the dot key or the full stop key on your keyboard switches the next character. And the one next to it, the comma, obviously goes back to character. So let's run this guy here. Age 33. Paz. Or Pan. Pan the matter. So obviously he's got outstanding mining, so he's going to be one for mining. As you can see, a 12 is really high. He's also a grower. So if there's no of that, we're going to do two on growing. Uh, he's a good shot as well, so hunting, which will be a three to join on everyone else. Can he cook? He can cook, which will be a uh, a two as well. Obviously, growing is very important. If there's no money to do, then he'll grow. Switch that to a two as well. He can choose which priority he wants to do. Construction, not bad at all. So obviously, I'm going to put all these to four. Uh, is he that good shot? Is he social? No. Let's go back to four on that. Crafting, artistic, research, he cannot do. So that's pretty good. So let's switch to the next character. <coughs> Shouty! <laughs> and Shorty is uh she medicine? She is. So obviously she can do third for medicine. Three if anyone needs medicine. And obviously the miner here. Miner cannot do it. Then obviously Shouty is going to do it. Patience, not really too bothered about. Research. Research as well can be a three. If it needs to be done, she can do it. Growing would also be a three. Let's have a look. Three, three, three for Shout A on growing. Where is it? Three on that one. If it needs to be done, she can do it. Socialize. Very good at chatting. So she can be the interrogator when we get some prisoners. Uh, construction, she's also freaking good at, so let's do construction, let's do that for three for shout A. Uh, she's very good at cooking as well, very good at cooking, so let's put you at, oh, let's put you at two for cooking. Uh, let's take you off of cooking, let's do three if needed, four if you can do it, uh, social, uh, melee, so she will not be hunting. It'll be these two dudes here. Shall they will not be. So, close that menu up. That's all done. Double click all these. It highlights all of them around in this area. So, you can press F. Take it off. Unforbidden. It's just a little hockey. Same with all this. So the wood, the steel, uh, the medi packs, and anything else around in the area. As you can see, we've got some food supply here, which I won't get just yet because I need to get set up. Those uh, food rations. Unselect them. Is there anything else around here? No, don't want to go too far just yet. And obviously you can see the weapons are here, so let's click on and have a look. So we've got shooting three. Who's got the best shot? Either one of these guys, it doesn't matter. So, pistol for you. Uh, no, you, you are going to go for the pistol. Liam Field, and obviously Shaudet with the melee. 
There we go. Right, so let them pick up all their weapons. Let's fast forward it a little bit. There we go. And you can see these little things there that you can sort of do yourself. Construct a bed, need a growing zone, build a room, need stockpiles, which we're going to do all now. So I'm literally just going to make this a little video and then we're going to carry on doing the rest of it when we get round to doing it very shortly. But I'm actually probably going to build in here. Uh, it has two food supplies. Obviously, we've got some more down here. So we can unselect them as forbidden as well. Uh, we've got one here and one here, main one. They will move eventually, but it will take time. Uh, I'm going to make a stock pile around about here, a dumping stock, and a normal one here. So, um, as you can see, right click brings up the menu, so orders. Obviously, you can make plans just to see how it goes. So, let's make a little room like so. And obviously, for the bonus, I think it's a 6x6, six six, 4, 5, 6, 3. Four, five, six. Which actually, I'm going to bring it across here. Like so, three, six. Yeah, it doesn't look that big, to be honest. Like so. And the same on this side, but this one will be for our cook room. I'm going to make it there. And three. I need one more. Hmm. See how that goes. There we go. It's another room. Need a couple more living quarters. Uh, that is six there, yeah. Six there. A couple more. is the living quarters there, so I'm going to remove a couple of these plans, like so, and get the miner one by pressing L, and let the mine all of that out. I should do this incredibly quick, because we have got some pretty professional miners at the ready, so let's do it like that. So the first thing to do is that. I'm going to make a quick couple of stockpiles as well, I'm going to make a dumping stockpile just up here, nothing too fancy, and a normal stockpile, which is obviously the good stuff which we're going to put outside here like so. Obviously I'm going to put a couple of growing zones just to get some stuff set up which is going to, I'm going to put probably over this area and I'm going to have a power just down over here. So I'm going to put, oh, what terrain is this? This is mud. Don't want that. Oh, more stuff. Which is good. Even more stuff there. Sweet. So and then also obviously our geo nuclear plant shit. Oh, two can go there. Not bad, I didn't see that. It's good, so we're going to get our growing zones. Uh, one set up. Here, which is going to just be standard potatoes. And then we're just going to get a line along here, which is going to be our sort of medicine, which is that one there. And uh, that is it, everyone's going to crack on with that. So as you can see, so we've got two people planting, we've got the beastie miner on it already. He's going pretty well. But uh, obviously he's hit a bigger rock there, which obviously takes more materials. I could speed it I'm going to go on the second one here just to explain stuff as well while I'm going along. So obviously the 6x6 gives us some more bonus as well for sort of comfort and spaciousness and everything else. So I'm just going to leave it like that. As I say, I'm not very excellent in this game, but I have looked up an awful lot of tutorials and loads of other stuff to do this. So uh, yeah guys, I'm going to end it on here in part 1, and then we're going to come back and do part 2 very shortly. Let's give it a pause in. But uh, as always guys, get a kev out, and get a kev out.